Hey buddies, that's the Swedish man. This time we're gonna talk about a black metal band that sounds totally Swedish. However, this band is not exactly from Sweden, so I don't know why to go even. Hey buddy, but here it is. This one is Darkest Mind. Now, let's be honest about it. This name is quite horrible. Sounds like some demo band, you know, wanting to do some, I don't know, melodic, melancholic metal or something like that. And even this cover image isn't exactly convincing. So, if it was my younger version and I was browsing the CDs in some, I don't know, record store of the 90s or early 2000s, I wouldn't be totally, you know, like, wow, or how to say, convinced about it. But let's be honest about it. It's time to take a look beyond the covers, to beyond the name and all that stuff. And the album name isn't that bad, by the way. So, uh, there is at least something to take a look at. Now, if in case you want to take a look closer, <laughs> or not take a closer look to the re 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 lyrics, well, go ahead and pause the video or go back and all that stuff. This one was released in 2021, December, by Immortal Frost Productions. The album in game... In the <laughs> game is once again uh, Oracle of Death by Darkest Minds from Belgium. This is the first album by the band, and in case you're wondering why my... I'm so like, whatever, like all mistaken and all that stuff. Consider it weak and well spent. Check aside, Oracle This Death uh, is very well, very well indeed. The first album by the band, uh, which has been here around for 2014, so seven years in the making, uh, what, with the exception that there was this EP already out earlier. This one features 45 minutes, seven tracks, so pretty much on the lengthier side, but at least the music is pretty good and that's all that matters, really. Now, when I was mentioning that this really, really reminds me of Swedish black metal, there is a couple of reasons for that. First of all, these melodies. The fast tempo combined with melodies is something that totally get, takes me back to the 1990s. Beat bands like Dissection, Unanimated, uh, Lord uh, Belial, Murgruning and the like, even a little bit maybe Dark Funeral right there in the mix. This is definitely like 1990s Swedish black metal. I'm not talking about bands like Bathory or Arcanum and the Roar kind, but you know, the kind of a melodic stuff, which then again got a lot of boost back in the early days, early days of Second Wave anyway. So everything here is really, really taking me back to those times, reminding how, you know, innocent it was back in the days. But like I said, this is not a Swedish band, which makes me kind of a <laughs> kind of a go goofy all about it. Because the funny thing is, had I not known that this was from Belgium, I would just you know be ready to bet some money. Everything from those melodic parts to the how the songs are structured, even those you know uh, non-distorted parts where you know you go tapping your guitar and all that stuff. So goddamn Swedish. So that is good news for people like me who was much grown with the 1990s melodic black metal. Now, obviously, you have to be a fan of that style if you're gonna like Oracle of Death. Uh, because, I mean, if you were allergic to that kind of stuff back in the days, obviously, this kind of a worship band is not gonna change your mind. I mean, you really have to be the fan so much that you're able to enjoy these kind of worship albums. This is not obviously as good as a lot of those classic ones because, well, they are classic, not only because they were pioneering the style, but because they were actually good. Now, some B-level bands might be very much on the same page with Darkest Mind. So I would say this band has a lot of potential to become really, really important and big name. But with the first album, it's maybe too obviously too much a worship album to be, you know, something like future classic. Now, uh, when it comes to the production, there is nothing really to complain about. It's not great, but it's quite good for its own right. That is, this kind of uh, bitter sound and drums and all that stuff is very much supporting the given style here, so can't really complain about mix or, in general, the recording style. Vocals could be then again, you know, a little bit more powerful. Now they're more like uh, sounding a little bit like, not exactly raspy, but something like as if the vocalist had the best days of his voice behind, or maybe just losing his voice before doing the vocals. This is obviously a matter of taste. Some of them, some of you might really like the vocals, but I think they could be a lot more powerful, like more fierce, more grim, and all that stuff. They are not bad, but. Like I said, they're not my favorite either. Uh, anyway, if you're into melodic black metal in the first place, 
Swedish or otherwise, this is definitely right up your rally. Just don't expect super greatness, but rather good one and you're good to go. Decent release for, you know, decent minds. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching the review. Should you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments box below and I'll get back to you. Meanwhile, take care and listen to some good shit. Links will be in the description box.